This is ANN News Brief. Good morning. I am Lucy Adeyemi. Ghana Minister of Information Kojo Pong Nkrumah says the Ghana Burkina Railway interconnectivity project will commence next year. He said once completed, the rail line will link Ghana Burkina and would facilitate trade and development. Nkrumah says the permanent joint committee of experts from both countries was established last year to facilitate the development of the rail link that would run from Tema Port to Ogadugo, Burkina capital. The minister spoke about the rehabilitation of the country's rail system and also mentioned that the procurement process is ongoing to develop a new standard gauge line for the Eastern Railway line with a distance of about 340 kilometers. Limpopo police in South Africa say they have launched a manhunt for the suspect believed to be responsible for the murder of yet another ANC councillor, Thando Maupa. The deceased ward councillor was shot outside his restaurant on Monday. Police spokesperson Brigadier Mortalafela Mojapelo said Mopa was with his wife at their liquor restaurant when the suspect opened fire on them. Mopa reportedly suffered gunshot wounds and died on the scene. His wife was also struck by the hail of bullets but managed to clutch onto life long enough to be treated for her wounds at a nearby hospital. Authorities are investigating the case. A $3,500 reward has been issued by the police for helpful information that leads to the arrest and subsequent conviction of the suspect or suspects. We'll be back after this message. Gives 2,000% bonus for reactivating your MTN SIM. That's right. If you haven't used your MTN SIM for 45 days or more, recharge now and get 2,000% bonus. That's right. 2,000% bonus for your first recharge of every month. Economic Commission for Africa has urged African countries to sign the Luxembourg Protocol, which was adopted in 2007. The Commission says this would create a new global legal regime for securing credits, facilitating more and cheaper asset-based financing of railway equipment without state support. Chief of Industrialization and Infrastructure at ECA, Soteri Gatera, says railways are the key to open and free trade across Africa and their development is critical to the continent's sustainable development agenda. In a presentation at Peter Week 2018 in Victoria Falls, Zimbabwe, Gatera stated that Africa badly needs an integrated railway network as its roads cannot contain the growing strain from trucks transporting goods across the continent. Gatera says ratifying the protocol will remove significant budgetary constraints from states. The protocol is expected to be enforced in contracted states by late next year. That's ANN News Brief. Thanks for watching. For details on these and other stories, visit our website, nnafrica.net. Also join the conversation on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash TV, Instagram and Twitter at TV. I am Lucy Adeyemi.